Right, ladies and gentlemen, GV Billy Elliott, the final competitor in the CCI Three Star in their Melbourne International Three Day event, is cantering down the centre line right this moment, and we may be in for a very serious treat. Great halt and salute. Let's see what Tim can do from there. I would, I would say he's on an eight for the centre line, so it's a great start. Very nice shoulder in. There you can see expansion there and evenness, real elegance. I don't think it's quite what Adam Benson produced on Enthusiast, but it's right up there. Shoulder in right in terms of the mediums and extensions I'm talking about. The shoulder in is probably better. Here we go. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely mediums. This is dangerous. Travelling really forward and soft on the bit. The pole is the highest point. Here we go for the extensions. Tim will be going for its high risk. That was beautiful, very soft, and yet still very powerful. That soft, soft interpretation. Here he goes for the half pass. Good cross. That was done well enough. Counter change was excellent. Half pass left, done well. A lovely flow, ground covering qualities there. Walking at sea, very nice. We can still lose this. We still have a lot of room, a lot of tests to go where things can fall apart. But right now, I think if we were watching the individual scores of the judges, this is actually going to push Kudamudu and our young Australian rider, Lauren Bol Bolcom. Just bobbing the head there, that extended walk could have been fractionally steadier but it's still very good coming back into medium walk the turn left like to have some over track there the halt immobility lovely halt five steps rain back one two three four five oops i think that was close to close to a nine that's nearly as good as we've seen it done there was lots of time taken into it there are maybe a couple of tiny little flaws with it but that was beautiful this is looking very dangerous now lovely soft loop there lovely frame almost statuesque presentation of the frame very steady in the head counter canter was beautiful coming around for the half ten got to go through Lauren Balcom's score of 72.53 percent or 41.2 penalties flying change was good for tim i think this is doing it medium canter beautiful medium canter still really balanced and up in front a little bit of length and frame very clear medium canter and then the collect this is beautiful Two loop serpentine. This is the second and the final two loop serpentine. Coming into the counter canter has caused grief for some of the riders before Tim. Not going to happen with Tim. Half 10 metre circle. He is on song for a blinder of a score. Coming across straight at B. Flying change coming up. Beautiful flying change, beautiful balance, beautiful rhythm. Absolutely a serene presentation of the, of the flying change. Here we go with the extended canter. Yeah, no, it's good. And the collect, transition, center line. This is very, very good test. And he's bold and he's done the halt. Square, ladies and gentlemen, that's as good as you'll see at any Olympic Games.
Look, the judges may disagree. That does happen. The commentators don't always get it right. But I think we're looking at a blinder of a score there and a new leader. But anyway, we will wait and see. And I think we should see a score go into the 30s. Now, uh, winning the gold medal at the Olympics um, will require um, the low 40s, the high 30s. That's where the competitors need to be.